So what we're going to do is I'm going to crank up this engine and you're going to hear what the piston slap sounds like with Mobile One synthetic 5W30 in the engine as it is. Uh, engine oil level is perfect. It's you know, just was changed a few hundred kilometers ago because I did the head gaskets. What I'm going to do then is drive to the store. We're going to get some Rotella T6. Going to change the engine and then oh, engine oil, and then tomorrow morning when it's cold again, because this is going to be a cold start. I haven't started this up. We're going to check out the the sound of the piston slap and try to compare and see if we can see a difference. So, for scientific posterity here, we're going to see hopefully that uh, Rotella T6 will work, and if not, we want to know that too, so that people don't go spending a lot of extra money on an oil that they don't need that doesn't do anything for them. Stay tuned. Alright, here's what we've got. You can hear, hear that bit of tick. Um, I should mention the valves are perfectly within spec on this engine because I checked them when uh, and adjusted them when I was changing the head gaskets. Um, the tensioner on the timing belt is not the issue because it's brand new. I just changed the timing belt and water pump. Um, and the fuel injectors probably contribute a little bit to this clicky clicky, but not this much. This is fairly classic piston slap you can hear right here. And again, it's not a problem to the engine. It's just annoying for the driver. So now we're going to go get some Rotella T6. Give that a good listen here. And what we're going to do after we crank it up cold start tomorrow is compare and see if some of that ticky ticky is gone. Okay, to recap from yesterday, we have now switched to Shell Rotella T6, 0W40 in this case. Uh, the theories online are piston slap can be somewhat addressed by a heavier weight and a different type of oil. In this case, maybe the piston walls are better covered and thereby reducing piston slap. We are here to test that theory this morning. Got a nice cold brisk morning on Vancouver Island. I did let this uh, sit in yesterday and warm up for a bit so oil should be fully dispersed throughout the system. We're going to go crank it up and see what the difference is compared to yesterday's video when we had mobile 5W30 in there. with the Shell Rotella T6. I don't know about you, but I can't hear any difference at all. That little tapping is still there. And again, this is a piston slap tap. It goes away when the engine's warm. Right now it's cool. And I think we can safely say that using this Rotella T6 does absolutely nothing to help address piston slap. Perhaps that's to be expected. Nothing can really cover that up because it is just the piston moving around a little bit horizontally in the engine. Anyway, well, that's our test. I would say we could say Rotella T6 has failed to address any piston slap volume issues. If you have any suggestions or comments, hey, let me know. Any other types of oil we can try here? Otherwise, I'll just have to live with it.